Hi my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So hopefully you've already watched the video on how to calibrate for print and cut. So now we're actually going to head, go ahead and perform a print and cut. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our Google images and I've just put in Christmas tags. And you can see that there's lots and lots here. But I'm only going to do one tag today and I'll explain why in a minute. So I'm just going to go in and save that. So I'm going to go save image as one tag and save. You'll see up here there's actually an already grouped one made up but I'm just going to do the single one today. So we're going to go back into design space and we're going to go to upload. So we'll upload image browse and one tag and we're going to save it as a complex image I always save my print and cuts as a complex image uh, because they keep it as exactly as it's meant to be then there's no color changes or anything so I always delete the background you can go further um, and you can delete the innards uh, you can delete the inside of the words but with a print and cut the, the white doesn't show up anyway so unless you want everything cut separately you might as well do that as just a cut file then uh, the point of a print and cut is that it's already done for you you can take pictures you can print them and then you can cut them out so I normally just do the background but it depends on the picture and it depends how you want it to be so you'll see in the print and cut that it's going to print like this and then it will cut the outside out so we're going to keep it as a print and cut and we're going to save it as or we're going to tag it as Christmas and then press save. So now it's uploaded we're going to click on it and we're going to go to insert image. Now currently you can only print and cut up to A4 size and all of Cricut's printables come in A4 as well. Uh, the other thing is that each image can only be 6.75 across and 9.25 long. So if I show you with this image here and we go to make it and you can see it's come up as a print and cut as well. So you can see that we're then left with all this space. So we've got a couple of options. We can print it exactly as that is, or we can reduce it down and we can either add other images in there. So we've got three or four images in one A4 sheet, or we can go in, go back to make it. One, two, three, four. Let's try four to begin with and apply. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's try eight. And twelve. Will it give us another line? Okay, so it's not going to give us another line there. So we're going to go back. And then we're just going to reduce it a little bit more and go back in to make it and apply our 12 again and it's going to come up as the one. You're still going to end up with wastage, you're never going to get it right to that edge unless you make your tags or your image really small. It depends what you want from them, if you want a big image, you want little images, you really do have to play with it. Uh, so we're going to leave that as it is because I quite like the size of them. I don't actually want them to be any smaller. Uh, so we're going to go to continue. So we're now going to send it to our printer. And we will print. So we're all printed now, so we're going to select our cut materials, we're going to go to view all 
and then we're going to go down to paper because it's technically a paper and you'll see there we've got sticker paper so then we're going to press done and then we're going to go ahead and sort our mat out we've already made sure that we've set our cut to sticker paper so we're just going to go ahead and press load and now we're going to cut and you'll see in just a second that just like when we were doing our print and cut calibration this little light will come on now and this is doing its scanning so it's scanning around the registration marks and then it will be able to cut for us So here you can see our stickers, so they've all printed out now. We have our first sticker. So that's going to look really lovely on some uh, Christmas presents this year. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. Um, please do like, subscribe and follow and I'll see you all again soon. Bye! Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Please do subscribe, like and comment below. Bye.